Today on the channel, we're back at it again with another Batman Forever McFarlane Toys unboxing. And this time, we got the Riddler, we got Two-Face, and Nightmare Bat. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for another McFarlane Toys unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we're back at it with another Batman Forever unboxing. This time, we got the Riddler, a.k.a. Jim Carrey. We got Two-Face, Tommy Lee Jones. And at the very end, we're going to build the Build-A-Figure in the Nightmare Bat. But for all your McFarlane toy needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% all in-stock items. Anything over $59. Does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And we already unboxed Batman and Robin on the channel. So check out that one if you did miss it. And I did talk about Batman Forever was really my Batman movie when I was a kid. Uh, Batman 89, a lot of people liked. I mean, I saw it a couple of times. Didn't set my world on fire. Cool for what it is. But for whatever reason, I did like Batman Forever. Maybe it was because of Tommy Jones doing such an amazing job as Two-Face. Really did like that Two-Face. And then Jim Carrey was extremely hot at the time. Uh, I enjoyed Jim Carrey way back then a whole lot. So I was very excited to see him as the Riddler. And then the other thing was there was toys galore from Kenner for this movie back in the day. I really did enjoy all that. So I was all in about it. And I'm all in it now, I guess, because I'm buying these figures here. So very excited to see what these two look like out of the package. And possibly the one I'm most excited for is Two-Face Tommy Lee Jones. When I close my eyes at night and I think of Two-Face, I think of the Tommy Lee Jones version. Strange, I know, but I always loved it. And I love the old school Kenner toy back in the day. I'd always turn it to one side, look at it. Then I'd turn it around and look at the other side. It was just very cool, I always thought, when I was a kid. We'll see how cool this one is out of the package. But there it is, old Tommy Lee Jones. Quite the suit going on right there, no doubt about it. DC Multiverse Nightmare Bad, of course. 22 points of articulation on this one. Uh, looking good there. 12 and up on this, Mark Summers. Yes, Double Dare's own Mark Summers. If you could make sure there's no kids anywhere in the state, really. If you want to go door-to-door -door statewide, that would be great. On the side, you got Two-Face, of course. Two-Face over here. And then Nightmare Bad explanation on the back right there. So we're going to get to it. We'll get to that bat at the very end, maybe. Oh my gosh, can I get these out? Am I a rookie? Oh, there it is. Oof. See you later. Goodbye. All right, well, there it is. There's a big wing, a card, and a stand. So I'm going to try to get these guys out first. There we go. There we go. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Can we get the card out? Oh, yeah. No, no rookies here. No rookies here. See you later. Goodbye. DC McFarland stand. Seen it before. We'll see it again. See you later. Goodbye. And we'll read the card now. How about? How about we'll read the card? We'll read it real quick. See what's going on with a little Two Face here. Real name Harvey Dent. Batman faces off against two foes. The schizophrenic, horribly scarred former district attorney Harvey Dent, aka Two Face, and the Riddler. A disgruntled ex Wayne Enterprises inventor seeking revenge against his former employer by unleashing his brain sucking weapon on Gotham City's residents, as the Cape Crusader also deals with tortured memories of his parents' murder. He has a new romance with psychologist Chase Meriden. So we saw this exact same copyright with Batman and Robin. Now we see it with Two-Face. Have to assume we see it with the Riddler, which only means one thing. Todd from the couch, what are we doing? Can't we just make separate ones, separate bios? Is it that hard? I don't think it is. I, I really don't think it is. Here we are, though. Here we are. Two-Face looking interesting. No weapon for Two-Face. That feels like a big miss to me, but we do know the rules from Warner Brothers. It's not Todd's rules. I bet Todd, if he could put weapons with these guys, can you imagine some of the stuff we'd see? He'd have some big blaster pistol or something going on with this Tommy Lee Jones Two-Face. He'd be really getting after it, but... Unfortunately, we can't, so I'm going to have to dig through my McFarland wep weapons. Of course, we got those ammo packs and accessory packs over the last couple of years. I got to find just the right thing. See you later. Goodbye. Right thing for this figure is he just feels strange without a, at least a handgun or something. 
I don't know. I got to figure something out there. But we do get hands here, of course. A gloved fist of fury and a trigger hand for said weapon, if you would have one. And then on here, we do get a trigger hand and we get the coin flipping hand. Very key, very iconic. He's letting the cards be dealt there with the old hand flipping. Looking nice right there. Almost forgot the wing here. We'll get to this in a little bit. Stick that off to the side for now. But we got old Tommy Lee Jones out of the package. And man, it looks like Tommy Lee Jones, especially on that side. Almost looks like Ronald Reagan, too. It looks like a, a politician or a lawyer or something like that, I guess. Then you get absolutely wild on the other side. You got the zebra striped suit going on. Love the half tie going there. Looking very cool. Black half, just normal black suit. This side, just absolutely wild. Just screams 90s is what that screams right there. Even the crazy hair on the side. Of course, the half-burnt face. You got the normal face on the other side as well. Uh, but looking very, very nice, all things considered. This is what I think of when I think of Two-Face, for sure. As like a kid, I'd always look at one side like, wow, how cool is that? And then I'd look at this side and be like, wow, it's so different. It's so strange, so different. I don't know. Still hits me the same all these years later, I guess. Arms all the way around. A little bit of butterfly in there. Actually... No butterfly on this one. No butterfly. Bicep cut. Double jointed pinned elbows. Hands back four side to side. Head back four side to side up and down. A little bit of waist articulation going on there. Of course, suited figure. We know how that goes. Big old splits if you need them. Legs do go up. Double jointed pinned knees. And really no movement as far as the ankles do go. But you do get the toe articulation for those keeping track at home. I actually do have a McFarlane gun sitting right here. Uh, do I put a Tommy gun with him? I don't know. I, th I think somebody, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not going to watch the movie, <laughs> but didn't he have a handgun? Wasn't he more of a handgun guy? But I guess I could give him this Tommy gun. Tommy Lee Jones, Tommy gun. It kind of fits, kind of looks okay. Gets due in a pinch, I guess. We could use this maybe. I don't know. You tell me, or maybe I got to find a pistol for him. I don't know, but I do like this Two-Face a whole lot. This is honestly the one I was the most excited for in this line. Just something about it. I don't know. It's just me, maybe. Who knows? But looking good, feeling good. Tommy Lee Jones, Two-Face, ready to take on the streets of Gotham, I guess is what he's ready to do. And can I get him to stand on the stand? Uh, he's a little top-heavy, I will say. And he's fighting me. There we go. I guess that'll do for now. That'll do for now. There it is. Old Two-Face, ready to go. But now we're going to turn our attention to a man that's uh, created a lot of laughter. As Tommy Lee Jones takes the header right there. Stick him. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. What are we doing? There we go. All right. Can we move on to Jim Carrey as the Riddler? A man of a thousand laughs is what he is. Of course, star of many a movies. But back then, of course, Batman Forever, his career was really taken off after In Living Color. Uh, Ace Ventura, of course. On to bigger things. Of course, these blockbusters. These blockbusters like Batman Forever. And I guess a good modern day Riddler. I guess if you ask most people who would be a good Riddler, they probably would have said Jim Carrey at the time. Maybe Robin Williams, but Jim Carrey was the hot thing at the time. So it did make sense to me. Uh, and it looks straight on. It looks just like him in the movie, of course. And look at that big body for that nightmare bat. It looks like a dead chicken or a dead rat or something. I don't know what that looks like, but it looks strange. DC Multiverse Riddler, of course. 22 points of articulation. 12 and up Mark Summers. He's already out chasing kids away. Good for him. Always getting after business. Batman Forever. Riddler on the back. Nightmare Bat once again. We're going to build him later in this video, as you guys know. Pull all this out. Yeah, there it is. See you later. Goodbye. Can I get the card out? Oh, yeah. See you later. Goodbye. Card comes out. Real name, Edward Nigma. Edward Nigma, of course. Enigma. And same exact backing there. So, I don't know. I would have liked to have seen something a little bit more. Maybe that's just me. Just feels kind of worthless at that point. See you later. Goodbye. See you later off the screen. And see you later. Get out of here. Uh, DC McFarland stand, seen it before. Guess what? We're going to see it again. Plastic prison. Oh, the Riddler going to riddle. That's what he's going to do. Very greasy plastic on here as well. I almost slipped out of my hands. Let me get him out of the package. Of course, locked down all over the place per Todd McFarland. Lock these figures down is what Todd says. Keep them locked down. We don't want anybody escaping with these figures. And it's never going to happen. You don't see DC McFarlane swaps like you do a lot of the other toy lines. And it's because they're very hard to get out of the package. That's exactly why. Can I get this bat out of here? Come on. There we go. Maybe. Oh, my gosh. Twist ties everywhere. <laughs> Just hang it by his legs. Hang it by his legs. We'll talk about him, of course, once again, later on in this very video. 
Got the Cambodian tape holding everything down as well. It's just a wild scene over here in the Batman game. We got extra hands. There it goes. And there it goes. All right. Give the old heave ho. Which way should I go? See you later. Goodbye. Scissors. See you later. Goodbye. And we're going to get down to business here with the old Riddler riddling things around. So we got two gripping hands out of the package. We got one Riddler Fist of Fury and we got an open hand here. So you can choose your own adventures with the Riddler as far as hands do go. Then you got this uh, little bat kind of bomb. I think it's a little grenade thing. Got a little green question or it's green with a black question mark on it. On brand, of course. Imagine him just sitting in a warehouse spray. I got to spray paint this. It can't just be gray. It's got to be my color. But he does got that going as far as an accessory. And then we do got this like baton a uh, little walking stick cane here, very rubbery with, rubbery with the big question mark at the top. Looking good on brand for the Riddler, of course. And I think, if I remember correctly, way back when in the old Kenner line, he also had this as well. So very cool to see this one here. Of course, you got to have that. Dancing around, prancing around, of course, was Jim Carrey as the Riddler. Now getting down to business here, we're going to start with the head. i got to say, they really nailed that Jim Carrey likeness. Got that green mask going on. The big old teeth shining through. Bright orange hair against the skin tone. Just a really nice looking figure in the head sculpt department. Then you get down to the body. It's definitely the Riddler. I think you could almost show anybody this outfit. Who is this? And they're going to say the Riddler. We've seen many different kind of versions of this over the years. Looks very, very nice. Now, I do wish the inside, you can see the inside of the arm. No Riddler or no question marks on there. You also got the uh, butterfly shoulders. There's no question marks on that side. Does kind of take you out of the game a little bit. Wish they could have got those on there. I guess they weren't prepared to be able to do that. But it would have looked a lot nicer, a lot cleaner uh, if they could have done that here. But it still looks really, really good with the green jumpsuit and all the question marks in black. And then he's got some like penny loafers down here, which looks absolutely wild. And then you add all that with that bright orange hair. Just a very cool, very stunning, awesome figure right here. Uh, I did talk about those butterfly shoulders, arms all the way around, bicep cut, double jointed, pinned elbows on this one, hands back and forth, hands removable, head back and forth, up, down, side to side, hula hoop plus traditional waist, those big old Ridland splits right there, leg does go up, double jointed knees, pinned once again, ankles back and forth, side to side, up and down, toe articulation if you need it, if you're ready for it. We got that toe articulation for the Riddler here. Just a stunning figure, a good looking figure. No doubt about it. I really do like this one. This one did not disappoint. The minute I saw this, I said, man, that looks really good. And from uh, render art all the way to action figure form, I think it did hold in pretty good. It does look really good at my table right here. So the Riddler and Two-Face, two iconic villains in the Batman rogue gallery, as we do know, and two from Batman Forever that held my, uh, held my attention as a kid, holding my attention all these years later. Really like these two. Two must-have pickups. But, of course, we're not done with this wave yet. Of course, we did Batman Robin. We did Riddler and Two-Face. Now we got to do the Nightmare Bat. All right, let's conclude the Batman Forever Nightmare Bat Build-A-Figure wave. We got Riddler. We got Two-Face. We got Batman. We got Robin. Now we got the Build-A-Figure. Have to say, Build-A-Figure went together very easily. Everything snapped right in. No issues with this one. Of course, two wings, the body, and the head. Pretty easy to follow, of course, direction-wise. But let's take a look at this. And to me, this is Man Bat, but I guess Man Bat wasn't in the movie. I don't really remember Nightmare Bat. Was this where Bruce Wayne was sleeping and had like a nightmare and this bat came flying through? I kind of vaguely remember that, or maybe that's just me making it up my brain. I don't know. But I kind of remember him sleeping and having this, and it was kind of a nightmare of... You know what he was doing but an interesting one and i would say you don't necessarily need this for the batman forever but it always feels free with these build of figures too uh it feels like it added like value to the figures i don't know it's all about making it work in your brain i guess is what it is but this is very cool and you could use this in other toy lines you could use this as a halloween prop there's a lot you could do with this one here so uh very cool here it is a bat flying through the air now you get those big old long bat wings here those little kind of arms inside uh, I wouldn't say translucent, but the plastic almost looks kind of translucent. It definitely looks like a bat right there. Looking very, very good. Uh, you got the little fingers at the top as well. Uh, but nice wings here. Now, articulation-wise, you do get movement out of the arms. So you get the up and down, the flapping here. So you can have the arms all the way up where he's sailing. You can bring them down. So there's different aspects you can do with this one. I mean, you can get a string and you can hang this guy from the ceiling if you wanted to. Have him floating around, flapping around. 
does look very, very nice. So you do get articulation on the arms. No body articulation of any kind, nothing going on. However, the head does have articulation, a little back and forth, up and down. You do also get jaw and mouth articulation. Very cool. Actually adds a lot to this one is you have the mouth open, mouth closed. Very, very cool. Big old bat ears going on. You got those red beady eyes, those crazy teeth, and then a hairy body throughout. Real fur would have been nice, would have been appreciated. Not in the cards, unfortunately. Uh, but it does look very, very nice. Getting down to the body here, he's got that little tail at the end. They got these little feet at the end as well. So you can kind of have him going either way. Uh, you can have him flying up in the air. You can have him flying this way. You can have him floating this way. Uh, choose your own Nightmare Bat adventures. Just don't call him Man Bat, that's for sure. Now, he does come at the stand. He's got the hole in his chest. You put this right on here. So if you want this on your shelf, he can be like this. Only problem I see with this guy is he is a shelf killer. Just an absolute shelf killer. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to display him or what I'm going to do with him, but uh, you just put him on a normal Billy Bookcase shelf. I mean, he eats up half the shelf just like this. So uh, I don't like that a whole lot. I wish there was a way to display him maybe kind of like this, and you could just put him in the back maybe. I might have to play around with it, have to figure out what to do with him because as cool as this is, man, he's so big, he's just going to take up a lot of space in our collection, in our displays, no doubt about it there. So there it is. That is the old Nightmare Bat. Very, very cool for what it is. A very, very fun late wave right here. Uh, of course, you got the heroes, you got the villains, and then you get the Dream Bat. Sure, why not? But a very cool idea for a line. I love this movie, like I said. Going back to when I was a little kid, love the toy line. So very nostalgic for someone like me. But I know there's a whole segment that hates this movie. So it's once again, you like what you like, you don't what you don't, as we do say. But if I had to put these in order, Jim Carrey Riddler is going to be my favorite, followed by Tommy Lee Jones, Two-Face, that'd be my second favorite. Robin, number three. Batman, number four. Uh, Man Bat, number five. I like what this is, but I like the characters a lot more. This just feels kind of like extra throw-in, which isn't bad, uh, but I just don't know what I could really do with this one here. So surprisingly, coming in last place, right behind Batman by a hair, a bat hair is what it is. But a fun, fun set. Definitely recommend it. Pick it up if you can, if you are interested. So there it is, Batman Forever. Man Bat, uh, don't call him Man Bat, Nightmare Bat. It's hard for me to do. Nightmare Bat, build a figure wave. What are your guys' thoughts? A pickup, a pass, a long game, a no game. How did you feel about Batman Forever? Did you love it at the time, hate it at the time, and now all these years later you still love it or you hate it? Be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And you made it this far, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. Videos every single day over there. Appreciate the support over there on the old Patreon. Of course, ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Batman Forever, I'm Kyle Forever, and I'll see you guys all real soon.